tell YouTube, first of all, let's address this lighting situation. My light broke. I don't know when I'll be able to replace the bulb, so I don't know how much filming I'm going to do. But on to the topic of the day. Relationships are important. They're integral. But people come and go. And when you're in a relationship, people are human. They're going to hurt you sooner or later. It's just a fact of being human. They can't read your mind. They can't read your emotions. We're not children and they're not going to be on tap for our needs 100% of the time. So when you get into a committed relationship, you are whether that be with a spouse or partner or children and your parents and your family, those long-term friendships, expect that you're going to be hurt sooner or later. And if you are committed, then you accept the responsibility that, yes, I know you are going to hurt me, but I will forgive you and we will move on cordially from this situation. If you can't forgive the person, then the relationship will never be the same. In order to have a long-term healthy relationship, you take on the responsibility of accepting that they're going to hurt you and fall short, and you're going to be fine with that. You're going to work through it, you're going to talk about it, express your feelings, of course, but and communicate but that you will forgive and move on because you'll do the same. I'm not talking about toxic and extremely harmful behavior, but if there is an extremely harmful breach of trust that happens and you can't let it go, you should let the relationship go because you'll never be able to tolerate that relationship again. It'll be toxic and unhealthy. I'm talking about the basics, basic human humanness. We're going to hurt each other. We're going to disagree, we're going to fall short of each other's expectations, and it's not just about you, and you have to realize when you take on a relationship that you're doing the same. They may not always say it, you may think you're hitting all the marks and you're doing everything right all the time, but I assure you, you're just as human as they are, even if they're not voicing their feelings. When things do come up, voice your feelings. You also have to put in a great deal of time and energy for a true, true friendship. Not an acquaintance or an associate, but a friendship or relationship. So don't bite off more than you can chew. If you have a small reserve of time, energy, or you're more of an introvert and you don't go out as much, don't take on a huge friend load. Don't. You need to put time and energy and be available to them so that in turn they can be available to you. Make sure it's not a one-way street in your relationships. But primarily, I want to talk about trust and the fact that they will hurt you and all of these things and that people are temporary and fickle and no matter how much you love someone, no matter how much they love you, no matter how much you mean to them and they mean to you, Never give your heart and your trust, your heart, your mind, 100% to another person. Bear your soul, share your life, but don't become one with someone else. Even when you're married, even married under God, become two complete people sharing life but don't become 100% subsumed by another individual. Because if they really were, again, we don't know what's going on behind someone else's eyes. Only they do. We have a separateness to us. And not only do you risk run the risk of your partner getting bored with you, if you just become them and you just to tag along, you have no more personality or life of your own, but 
you run the risk of getting hurt really, really bad. You should trust, you should commit, you should share, but trust, commitment, sharing, all these things take time and they are earned over time. They're not just handed over. You don't just hand over a, your heart to a stranger. And even the people that you know very well could very well hurt you to a great degree. If you give them 100% of yourself, every little thing they do will be a crushing blow. And you can't fall apart every time there's a problem in your relationship or a dispute in your friendship. It can't cause you to crumble. Or if that person walks out of your life, you can't not exist anymore. You have to save a little for yourself. It's a healthy boundary to not be consumed by a relationship. It's also a healthy boundary to give, to make yourself vulnerable to a point in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So bear in mind when making that integral connection with other people that do a little of this. It's equal that you, you share a little space for yourself to continue to grow and be your own person so you can contribute as an individual to the relationship, but also so that when life happens and the relationship gets rocky as it's going to, you can move through that. And even if this person goes kaput, I still got my hand. Uh, I didn't get it cut off. I didn't disappear. I didn't lose myself in a relationship so that when the relationship is gone or the person hurts me, it devastates me to the core because I 100% trusted them. I 100% thought I knew them. I 100% gave myself to them. You are an individual. You will always be an individual. You will always be worthy and sufficient regardless of the relationships that surround you. It's important to nurture them, to give your trust, but trust, respect, time, energy, all those things are earned and given over time. You shouldn't take on more than you can chew and you shouldn't be a people pleaser, all of those things, but make sure to save a little for yourself. It's not selfish to have your own space in your heart, in your mind, in your soul, in your time, to have your own identity. It's actually giving to those around you because again, they came to you to be in a relationship with you because of who you are, not because you were a yes man, because you hop when they said hop, because you mimicked them, because you were their cheerleader. They came to you for you. Don't lose yourself in a relationship. Keep a little. Just in case. Because life happens. Love you guys. Bye. Have a good day.